The National Weather Service is a government agency whose roots go back to the 1890s and has long protected our communities by providing timely weather advisories and forecasts. With its inception from the National Hurricane Research Project in the 1950s, the National Hurricane Center, located on the Florida International University campus in Miami, is a one-of-a-kind operation that features advanced hurricane tracking technology relied upon by the entire country. Since moving to their current location more than 20 years ago, poorly serviced rooftop additions of mechanical hardware and weather satellites has compromised the integrity of the roof system over time, causing leaks to occur inside of the facility. What they need to properly function is a roof system that is resistant to extreme weather and can maintain a watertight seal around the rooftop equipment. And with the solutions provided by Advanced Roofing Incorporated, that's exactly what they have now. We did a walkthrough and we investigated the roof and found that there were actually areas underneath their mechanical equipment that were never flashed in correctly and were leaking water under the roof membrane. And this had been an ongoing problem. So that's the reason why they chose to re-roof this building. The roof was at the end of its life cycle. Well, this is a big roof. The scope of work on this building was quite extensive because it being such an importance of a building for the National Weather Service, the roof on this building has to withstand during when they run their hurricane operation here. So, it was a full teardown down to the concrete structural deck, followed by fully adhered, two layers of, of three inch insulation, fully adhered and Sarnafil adhesive, followed by a coverboard, a gypsum coverboard, and a fully adhered Sarnafil PVC membrane. So it was then subsequently heat welded together and flashed around all the penetrations. The nature of this building is sensitive. There's a lot of electrical equipment, satellite dishes, mechanical, all kinds of stuff that has to continue operating through the duration of this project. So for us, that was a requirement from the owner, from the National Weather Service, from the contractor going into this project, was that we needed to roof around their functional rooftop mechanical equipment. And that's important to mention because when you're inside a building that's being re-roofed over it, and you're tearing off roof, it can be loud. During the course of our project, we had several conferences that took place, and we had to work around all that. And I think it's worth noting that our crew really did their best to try and meet the needs of the scientists and, and people working in and out of this facility. We have a great estimating team that did their homework up front. They caught all the details and there was really no issues with this project going into it. That's something that I think we do exceptionally well. Best parts about working with Advanced is how communicative they are. You know, very responsive. Um, you know, my counterpart Matt Cooper and uh, and his team always answering the phone, always responding to emails, makes it easy to, to coordinate. Certainly exceeded my expectations being the first time we worked with Advanced Roofing in terms of their involvement in meeting with the client. They were um, not hesitant at all to to back me up when I had to to get in front of the client and explain you know, if there were any difficulties or scheduling conflicts, um, you know, being, being the, the subject matter experts with the roofing. You know, we work with a lot of large companies, but the professionalism, quality of their work, the folks they have out there on the job site, um, you know, never a worry about you know, what they're doing on site, always there on time, easy to work with, and uh, all around just a great project working with the